I'll repeat the question. Do masters sometimes say something is going to happen and then it doesn't happen? For example, I had heard that great master had named Bhagat Singh as a successor, but he died before that could happen. Why is this the case? The masters never act as astrologers. They are not soothsayers and predictors of what is going to happen. Even when they know, they will not predict. Because that is not their role. If they came for this role to be astrologers and telling what's going to happen in the future, they'd be confined to happenings in the future here. All these events we're talking about are physical events in the physical world. They are trying to take us back to our true home. How much would they like to uh, concentrate their attention on telling about events that are going to happen here? It's not their role to be, become astrologers and predict what is going to happen here. There are so many others who can do that. If you want to find what is going to happen, go to a good astrologer. Go to a, go to a good soothsayer. Don't go to a perfect living master. Secondly, perfect living masters are playing a game and they follow the pattern of the creator. The creator is playing a game. The creator is playing a bigger game. They play a smaller game in a smaller stage here where they come. And they act as natural and as much like us as we are. If they can predict something and we cannot, they are unfit to be masters with us. They have to be just like us. If a master is so much advanced beyond us, he can never be our friend. A friend is one who is like us. That is why they are so careful to be like us, that if they are meeting different people at different stations of life, they will be like each one of them separately. But they'll be like them, like us, not something, something super. They never come as superheroes or trying to show off that they know something better than us. They talk like us. They talk, they don't know what's going on. And just like we would say. And therefore, uh, do they make mistakes? Sure, if we make mistakes, they make mistakes. Otherwise, they are not like us. So this thing we sometimes miss, that people who show off that they have more knowledge, more power, more things than us. They can impress us. And we can even sometimes worship them. We can admire them, but we cannot love them. Love doesn't flow like that. Love flows where somebody is like us. And that is why these perfect living masters particularly are so ordinary. They're sometimes more ordinary than ordinary people. And yet their extraordinariness we discover by association with them. And we find eventually they know everything, but they, they act so well. We are all supposed to be good actors. We are very good actors without knowing it. They are good actors and know it. We are very good actors because our life that we are leading is pre-scripted, predetermined. Every word we speak, every thought we have is written out in advance. We think it's happening now. We've forgotten we are actors and actors performing strictly according to the script. Therefore, they know that they are following the script and they will follow the script of an ordinary person. And that is why they do not show that they are extraordinary. I give an example. If there was a master, supernatural master, who can do many things, like flying with his physical body, and supposing while we are sitting here, a, such a physical prowess, of a master of a prowess, that he can fly with a physical body, flies in from that door, or from this door. Let's see him flying out here. I can see him flying. And we're all looking at all. What are we thinking when we are looking at that master, flying master? Some of us will think there is some string attached. We'll say there's a trick. And we'll try to figure out what the <laughs> trick is. And some will say, how can that be? Some of us may faint to see such an event. Some of us will admire, some of us will worship. Nobody will love that person. But if he happened to fall down here, supposing suddenly in performing that extraordinary feat, he falls, so many of us will run to him 
and have compassion and love for that person. Don't forget, love does not come from showing something extraordinary. You can get other kinds of feelings. Masters come here to pull us with their love, unconditional love, and they become like us. And that is why they can say things, and they're not true. Oh, it didn't come out true? Okay, I'll tell you something else. Normal. I've had experience with great master. So I had experience with great master when he named the attorney, his attorney, Bhagat Singh, as his successor. I was the last person to see the great master with Bhagat Singh before Bhagat Singh died. I, I was the only person privy to the conversations that great master had with Bhagat Singh before Bhagat Singh died. And great master told me at that very time, don't tell what we talked. And I never told anybody. I only told them that he did talk and I was there. But the fact, and I know the significance of what he talked at that time. I know the significance today, why he named him and the man died whom he named. But these things, if you want real answers, why master do a particular thing which can't, we can't understand outside, go inside, answers are there. Inside you will see the whole story. You will see exactly why these things happen. There was a very good reason for what this happened. But we can't see the reason here. But if we go within, we'll find the reason. So do not expect masters to be you know, acting as astrologers. But you can find them as beautiful lovers and beautiful beloveds.